Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our season two of the PSR podcast. Uh, as you can see, we have got a fancy new a logo and layout here created by our very own Amoeba. Thank you very much, Amoeba, if you're in the chat. Um, on with me today, we have, as usual, Etiquette. Hello. Jordan. Hello. And Skoa. Hi. And uh, our guests this week will be Gunlap. Hello. And Minnow. Hey there. Okay. So, as I said, uh, we've got a new season, new layout. We've got a nice little Great Ball sort of theme going here. So maybe in season three, we'll see an Ultra Ball. Who knows? Uh, so a couple things before we get started talking about some of our notable runs this week. Our, this past month, there are a lot of them, <laughs> just like last time. A um, few new things. Uh, there's a new yellow route that recently was crafted by Pokeguy. Uh, the gist of this route, I'm just going to post the pace bin in chat if anyone is interested, is to do a little bit of the early game differently um, to get Rudbar um, in later stages of the game. And so he, Poke, I actually recently did a long week of attempts at yellow and uh, put those strats to good use. I'm sure a lot of us have seen a lot of that. So um, that's, uh, that's one very exciting thing in terms of yellow, uh, new strats for that. Uh, similarly, although it's very different, obviously, uh, there's a new route in Sapphire as well. And this is based off of um, the idea of getting Abra which previously was thought to be slower. Uh, G. Hines recently, I think last year or so, he uh, put together a little Abra, Abra full route, as he called it, uh, showed it off at our PSR marathon. And uh, Gunner and a number of others um, took that, further optimized it, and it is actually faster. There is, uh, I don't really know too many of the details about that. Um, so do any of you guys have any familiarity with that specifically? Um, not really, no. But, uh, yeah, we'll share the, the guide or the notes, I guess, in the chat as well. I can find that. And, uh, so that's pretty exciting as well. It's going to drive a lot more interest in Sapphire, which is really cool. And there's also some new sequence breaks that have recently been discovered in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky post game. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, we're going to talk about a run by Sniper Wave later in the podcast, uh, since that was the first run to actually use these strats. So uh, that'll be really interesting to learn about as well. Let me find, where is my, there it is. Okay. All right, let's move into our first set of notable runs from this past month, from Gen 1 through 3. We're going to lead off with Pokeguy. Uh, recently just missed out on world record by 35 frames. Just very, very close. Very exciting finish. Um, this run, I believe he had did Vaporeon strats. So that is when you lose the first rival battle. Uh, and the rival has, therefore, a slightly different team. And the champion, as an example, becomes a bit scarier because of, he has a Ninetales that has quick attack. but. Uh, despite all that, uh, Pokeguy put together a pretty solid run. Unfortunately, got trolled a little bit here, as you can see on Agatha here. Missed a Blizzard, got confused, and um, but had put together a really solid Elite Four altogether. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit too short. So uh, that was a very, very close run from that, from that front. Uh, I guess we'll move on to... Uh, another world uh, new, uh, this one's actually a world record uh, this is shiru's fire red leaf green uh, any percent world record in 20140 beating the old record by about if i recall correctly about 30 seconds maybe it's 20 i'm not sure i can't remember it was, it was a low 202 was the old record this is just a really good run uh he did get trolled a little bit as you can see in surge's gym um got bad cans hit a spinner um but overall, put together a really solid run and uh, currently holds the record in all the main uh, Gen 3 categories. So Fire Red, Leaf Green, uh, Any Percent, uh, Sapphire Any Percent, as well as Emerald Any Percent Glitchless. 
Uh, he's currently working on round two for Fire Red, so we'll see uh, how well he does there. All right, moving on, we'll talk about uh, the first of two runs from Wave Warrior. This is Wave's any percent world record of uh, the glitch category uh, in one hour 21 flat. And uh, this run was particularly notable because this is his first completed run of this category. And also he got first try on the glitch, which is a one in 32 chance to work. Uh, so this is obviously pretty, pretty cool. Uh, he was able to pull this off. I don't remember exactly what the previous record was in this category, but pretty much you need to get first try on the glitch for it to be for you to have a chance at the record as it stands currently. Yeah, there's also another run by me, but I think that second is like a one twenty one twenty three. I think might be wrong with the time, but okay, I'm definitely definitely gone close. I think. Yeah, again, the Amoeba would be in the chat would know a lot more about this route, at least than I do. Yeah, if I, I recall don't. correctly, he was the previous. He had the record previously, so. It says in chat, it's 125.33 before this, so beat the record by... Four minutes, yeah. Four minutes, yeah. Four and a half. Ah. The look of getting the first time egg. Yeah, so... <laughs> Pretty much what happens, yeah, is the egg hatches and then uh, you get straight to the Hall of Fame. Second run from Wave we're going to show here is his uh, second place uh, Emerald Any% Glitchless run in 231 flat. He likes getting those even minutes on his runs. Pretty solid run. Um, this is an example. <laughs> I just found a good clip of him getting trolled by this spinner. He's stuck. Um, but overall, really well executed run. Uh, by wave here as well. Uh, the, the record in for any percent is, I believe it's in the yeah it's two thirty, uh, mid two thirty range. Um, so pretty close to uh, getting that world record here. So pretty cool. Doesn't this tie Ringo in second? I'm pretty Good sure. Question. It does. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure it it's a tie. Yeah, tie second place in the comment just there. Uh, just oh, barely very nice. not very nice. so 231 after a frame count. Yeah, he did mention a frame count, so that might have been why he went for the frame count. Uh, he was very close to a 230.59, which would have been blown at second place. So that's correct. Okay, moving on, we have another Emerald record, or not record, another very strong Emerald run here. This is in the Japanese category of any percent glitch list. I'm not sure if there's an any percent non or any percent glitched category in Japanese. Uh, but this is a third place run by Baltan. I don't really know too much about what happened in this run. Um, he did lose quite a bit of time on this Winona split. I don't know if anyone knows exactly what happened here, but he did something that's a little bit different from what I know in the Winona fight where he actually hit the Tropius once and then switched and then came back in. I'm not sure exactly why he did that um, because the only thing I could think of is if you got Parish Song from Swablu, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he did get Parish Song. Here. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's any extra text boxes, but obviously I don't speak Japanese, so it's hard to tell. Um, casual poke player says there is. Yeah, Dexy has players. record in it by default. He's the only one that's done runs of it. Oh, nice. And just as an FYI, if you have English Emerald, play it instead of this, uh, because uh, <laughs> Japanese Emerald is much harder than English because of the way the natures work out. It adds a bunch of ranges and makes things way more difficult. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's interesting. But that for is... Bolton's very, very short time playing this as opposed to what he normally does in Coliseum, it's a very, very good time to put out so quickly. Yeah, speaking of Bolton and Coliseum for April Fools, uh, managed to, along with the moderators there, at least trick me and maybe a few other people into believing that all his English runs were using like Nintendo, which were meant to be classed as emulator or something. So, oh, I saw something bit... about that on Twitter whenever I woke up. <laughs> yeah, 
I I got fooled by that, and I was disappointed. But also, it just seems so like it just seems like a very like it could have happened. It's like I just I forgot about the date. <laughs> Dude, I got April Fools so many times. I hate it oh, yeah. so much. <laughs> All, all the people on Discord with the server icons with the notification in the image. Eat that one. Uh, guess we're on to DS now, right? Yep. Alright, so first up on the DS stuff is Science first main series world record for Diamond Any% percent Glitchless. Um, this beats Pokeguy's record. Uh, quite funny, actually, after Worcester holding record for so long, and now the record's changed hands twice in like the past month. Um, but this run, outside of what's been highlighted, uh, which was a misplay on Saiyan's part, was absolutely ridiculous. Um, if you know anything about uh, Diamond Pearl Glitchless, just looking at the splits, you can see uh, just how insane this run is. And if you're watching Crafted at the moment, who's going for the record? He's like constantly behind Saiyan's run until like the very, very end, just because his early game is so good. Um, but it was just an unfortunate misplay on Volkner, but still banged out an insanely good run. Clutched it back at the Elite Four with a really, really good late game as well. Uh, it's really, really satisfying to see Saiyan get like progressively lower his time down to get record. He's been chasing. A main series record for a while now, so it's really cool to see him finally get one. Uh, and oh wow, who's that? So <laughs> next up's me, because I'm great. Um, literally, once again, like last time, only a couple hours ago, and I highlighted this bit because it's really cool, and I got all the I got the spinner set up. But um, so for generation four. You can probably even see just in these text boxes that I'm about to go into. Uh, text goes pretty quick compared to English. So, and the timing is also slightly different, which is why uh, the timers actually end up being slower for the, even though it's such a short category, um, because the credits are so long in this, uh, it does end up being slower. But this right is the exact same as English, except there's no extended minute because I'm lazy and haven't done that yet. Um, but overall, really, really solid run. I'm very, very proud of it, um, given how quickly I got it as well. But for anyone watching who has a Japanese copy, please play this category, even in English, because it is such a good category. There, I reckon 90% of the people in this call, including you, Minnow, you need to lower your time as well. This category is very, very fun. You should all play it. Like, what's the difference between Japanese and the English version other than the end credits being included? Oh, I mean, other than the timing and the text speed, like, the, they're actually the exact same. It's not like Gen 3 where there's different natures or whatever. It's purely based on text speed. But given, if you've ever watched English Generation 4, you can see that that is just insanely fast. I think it's like two characters per frame or something. Like, it goes insanely quickly. And it saves so much time. So they, they had to be split. But in terms of actual mechanics, there's like no differences. Is there a reason you're using Pearl or is it just... It's because I have a I have a okay. copy of Pearl. It doesn't actually matter for any percent. Does the route vary with any items you pick up along the way? Like compared to the no. English version? No. Everything is the exact same across the two. Except for minutes. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Well, because of the tech speed... Um, so after a battle, RNG manipulation... Uh, or RNG is advancing during text boxes. So like after the catching tutorial, for example, or after Mars, those text boxes, while you're mashing through them, RNG is advancing. So because the Japanese text is so much quicker, I actually have to wait for a while after the text so I can be aligned with the uh, manip that you would otherwise do on English with just like regular mashing. I did try to make a, a path to get around that, however, I ended up having to do so many extra steps that it ended up being faster to just wait to go with the English windows. Like, even though you save, like, 
six seconds or whatever by not having to wait after the catching tutorial. I just lose so much time to having to waste tiles so I can get through grass without any encounters that it's just faster to go with the old path. You had encounters in Orberg path as well, right? Yeah, I, I got around the Orberg stuff eventually. Um, but I had to I had to waste three seconds in Jubilife to get the RNG advanced far enough, which was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and for similar reasons as well with the RNG and the text boxes, if you've ever done Gen 4, you'll know about the fashion case for extended manip. Um, that is a major wall for Japanese because you get there to the text boxes so much faster. And the, the way the, um, so you can get through like pretty much everything up until a turn of forest really, really easily. But, but the way the RNG advances in a turn of forest, uh, it pretty much only advances while you're running through the grass. So you have to find a really long stretch where you're just not going to get any encounters. But with the way the extended works in English is the, an encounter that you would otherwise get or a, a tile that you'd otherwise get an encounter on, this, the 128 step count rolls over and advances the RNG past the encounter. Um, but I can't be bothered to find that, or uh, like how to set that up properly for Japanese. <laughs> like, because I still get to a turn of forest early for the RNG, it's absolutely ridiculous. Take the encounter. Honestly, I debated it. I'm not gonna lie, I really did debate just taking the encounter. <laughs> or like just taking a mart or whatever. What I might actually do in the future is if Dexy beats this time, I might do mart skip until after Rourke and then just buy potions while I go to the mart anyway. <laughs> so it's still only one mart trip. I don't know. Just a thought I had that I might incorporate. Hmm. But yeah, that's all I've got for that. Next is uh, Crafted's... 338 for Platinum Glitchless. Um, so as you... Uh, I don't know. You, you, may, you might have seen this run or the comments in it. Uh, yeah, highlighted a bit where he hit a spinner. That spinner is really, really hard to avoid. Um, but this run was actually like ridiculously good until Spear Pillar. As you can see by the splits, he was like over a minute ahead at Candace. Um, but... This is, once again, using Monkey instead of uh, the now, I guess, outdated <laughs> uh, Piplop, right? Crafted really hitting home just how much faster this right can, can be. It's still a little bit unclear if um, Monkey or Piplop is faster, but Craft is doing a very, very good job of um, nar or like getting the time down really, really proving just how good Chimchar can be. I see you, Jordan, messing with the quality settings. It's only in 360p because Craft is on the Isle of Man at the moment. <laughs> okay. Right, I was gonna like I was thinking like this looks a bit fuzzy, like really uh, like, but uh interesting though. Alright. Yeah, major congrats to Crafted for getting another um, minute milestone. Uh, so this is Buster's run of Platinum glitched. I don't know if um, his previous PB was on the last podcast. I don't think it was. I'm there pretty sure this is the... something. On post. I, I might have been hard gold. I think it was. I, I don't think the previous PB was on the last one. So this is the first, I guess, showcase of Gold Duck and the level 50 Tentacruel, although done very, very differently. To how it will be done in English. So Buster's doing or is using the old Chimchar seed and is just doing a save and quit for the Golduck. Uh which is fine. It's still actually faster than going down to get the level 40 Tentacruel. Um, but what we will be doing eventually in English is getting a seed that you just go from the start and you just do like a Raikou style thing where you get an encounter and an you determine what RNG frame you're on and you use the honey to get Golduck. Because we've, um, <laughs> there's been so few seeds that work out that we've actually had to resort to using the honey, which is um, ridiculous, such as how many there are. But... Yeah, this is the first showcase of it. Um, all in all, this right is, it's very, very, very cool. And it is a lot faster. 
um, in the old route with the level 40, you would have had to go the whole way back to the route below Jubilife to do tweaks to then save and quit. Whereas with this, you can literally just get the bike, go down to the bottom half of Eterna City, do one tweak, and then you're at Golduck already. Like it's it's so much quicker. Uh, much you do a, have that. Or was it true? How much of a difference do you know? It's hard to say. I haven't actually timed it, but a lot of people, because you, you then have to obviously move from um, Eterna down to Orberg to set your waypoint for teleport, and then you have to go to Heart Home from there. So it's not just as cut and dry as the time difference between going to Golduck versus going to Tentacle. There is a bit more to add to it than that. But I would reckon it's like at least a minute. There's a lot in it, I would say. Uh, You're not having to, to save and quit later when you guys has that when you guys have the seed, you won't have to save and quit, so that'll save time as well. Yeah. Not having to save and quit will be a, a massive help. Um But yeah, because Golduck does all of the fights pretty much identically to how the level 40 tentacle would have done them um so it's it literally is just all in the movement i think there's maybe like it's maybe slightly slower for the rival fight at heart home because of uh super effective not very effective text all that kind of stuff but Mine that's quite literally the only difference yeah. i think interesting but yeah very very good showcase of the uh the new right that's i guess now come to light so this is Tucker's um, Hargles is over Manipolis world record. Um, this run is like absolutely insane. So this is, I think it's, is it fourth place on the glitchless boards? Fourth place, yeah. From that includes manipped runs. Just as a testament to how good this run is. And you can even see just by the splits, he's so far ahead. So in Manipolis, as opposed to manipulating yourself a Raikou and using that for the whole game, you go to the Lake of Rage and use the Repel trick to get the level 50 Magikarp, and then you just Rare Candy and get Gyarados, and you just beat the rest of the game with that. Uh, which is, a, it's, it's a very, very recent development as well, like, it's not that old. <laughs> uh, this might be my ignorance of, like... DS games and stuff like that in the early stuff. Would is this basically like the equivalent of if someone in like say Emerald took a random mud kip and came forth, or is this a bit easier, a bit harder, or is this just not anything you can compare? Really, at that point? it would it it would be hard to compare, but essentially, kind of yeah, because there's a obviously you have all that stuff with the encounters and all that and the start, and you don't get poker us and you don't have um. Raikou for the whole game because Ra Raikou is more than likely better. I don't know if I, I'm pretty certain it's better than Gardos anyway. But to achieve such a low time without any manipulation, you know, completely random Gardos and all that, no encounter manip, no pokerus, it's absolutely insane that he's got the time down this low. Yeah, random Syndical as well. Yeah, random Syndical. Kenya strats though. Yeah, God strats. <laughs> yeah, massive congrats to Tucker. Absolutely deserves that. And it's an abs like if you haven't seen Hargold Still Silver Manipolis, uh, I highly recommend watching the run and I highly recommend trying it as well, because it's really, really fun. Yeah, like Manipolis, again, as someone who doesn't do DS stuff, so this has even made me kind of like just Manipolis as a route. I've been interested in maybe doing it. Very big. Oh, absolutely do. This is so easy to get into. Good old Minnow. Yeah, I'll, I'll let I'll let you take this one, Minnow. Um, it's highlighted where your touch screen. Oh, Minnow. <laughs> uh, so my touch screen um, during my challenge mode record run actually stopped working. Like I would press on the touch screen with my stylus, and it would just it wouldn't read the input. And so this happened for like uh, about thirty minutes of the run. I uh, had this. And so I lost a lot of time because I would, I would have to like choose moves and like heal and 
do everything in battle with this D-pad uh, and A and B buttons. <laughs> was, like, I, I've never, I've never, like it, was, it was so slow. So uh, I lost close to 30 seconds from that. Uh, but I got really lucky in the Elite Four so that I was able to clutch out the record. Did it start working again? Eventually? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, I just pushed on like the edges of the touchscreen, like the corners, and it seems to have fixed it. I haven't got the issue yet again, so hopefully it just doesn't come back. Oh, that's good. It's pretty scary. All your nail mashing had finally worn through and just destroyed the circuit board of your <laughs> DS. Not even the buttons, though. The fucking the touchscreen. <laughs> You were like 40 seconds behind uh, record going into Elite Four, weren't you? Like, yeah, I got insane Elite Four. High jump kick miss. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got hit. You got hypnosis miss from Caitlyn as well, didn't you? Yeah, and then focus blast miss. <laughs> On Iris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, did you play for it as well? Yeah, I played for it because it was faster than. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, congratulations on the record, um, and sweeping all of Gen 5 in such a short time. It took you it took quite the grind to get the first one, and you just went absolutely insane and got like, all three so quickly. <laughs> yes, I didn't but want to yeah. do anything like, similar in like, that kind of space of time. But if... I, I don't think it's been done in that space of time before. Yeah, so there's been people obviously that have sweeped generations. Yeah, because I know Worcester last year went on a sweep of, like, Gen 4 and got a lot of them pretty quickly, but I don't think it was... I think Minnow, this, like, white to any percent, like, or the gap between black and white won any percent in challenge mode was, like, a month or something, wasn't it? Maybe not even? Like, I didn't remind, I didn't have the game until after yeah, I got... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, cause you, you had black too, didn't you? <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah, <laughs> I, I originally I was gonna do it, and then I looked. I was like, no, it's not worth it. I'll just spend the money and buy white too. Clearly, it was it's, worth it, though. Yeah, it would have been even better if you got both of them. <laughs> black two challenge mode. <laughs> no way you could ever get that. <laughs> Extra double fight and reversal might and with world record. Let's go, dude. Rotation, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> into 3ds now i'd say That's good. uh yeah so uh this is the new japanese xy record um by ringo um i don't know too much about how the run actually went we highlighted here a pretty bad fight uh this is the kalem fight before olympia um i do know that this was a uh, very quick halucha catch so it was first encounter it was actually an encounter on the way up to geosenge uh, to set your death warp spawn uh, which usually you're looking for the encounter on the way back but uh, getting on the way up is fine as well but that just meant it was like really fast first encounter um, and yeah I mean other than that the this English timing this would be about a low 340 um, tech speed is a thing in uh, in like the 3DS games, but it's not as big of a deal as some of the earlier gens, just because like text moves so fast in these games anyways, it moves at like eight characters per frame. So, uh, you know, your Japanese and English text speeds aren't going to be too different. So this is just a really solid time, um, sort of piggybacking off of the English record from last month. The video has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did I do? Oh. Hmm. Sorry. Broke everything. Still so, Etika, is Japanese text actually faster in Gen 6? Like, or does, is it quite literally like, that minimal difference? I mean, given that this run here is, you know, with English timing, this is over a minute faster than his other one. Uh, I assume it's a little bit faster, but it yeah. honestly might not be. Like, it I know no one's done any like extensive testing on it. Um, it's just the text moves so fast anyways yeah. that um, that it's pretty pretty minimal if there is a difference. 
It, it looks like the speed itself is like actually like pretty similar. It's just the um, I guess because Japanese often has like less characters. Yeah, that's probably more the difference. Yeah, exactly. So like a lot of times there might be certain text boxes that instead of rolling into two text boxes, you only have one stuff like that probably happens. Yeah. Um, next one here is uh, Ekman Larson with a 30345 in Omega Ruby on emulator. Um, we do have the emulator leaderboard split out um, to separate them from the ones on console, but uh, this is still a really solid time overall. Uh, Ekman also went on a pretty big tear of some of the other categories along with Ice Ball. Um, more or less filling out the leaderboards because uh, there were a few of the categories that didn't have times yet. So all the emulator categories have times now. Um, and this is this is sort of the best one. Uh, this year, he hit a spinner on the way up to maxi one. Um, probably the biggest time loss in the run as far as I'm aware. Um, I didn't get to, to watch the run when it happened, but um, a 303 is still a, a great time <laughs> is this quicker than the yeah DS world record just or yeah so this is about uh what it would be about 40 seconds faster than the current uh 3ds record but like i said the emulator does run faster it's kind of a weird thing with citra the emulator that we have to use where uh because of the way like memory management works as it's faster than 3ds with like certain loads but then as you play on it, it starts to bog down and ends up being like, if you don't reset the the emulator, it ends up being, you know, really laggy near the end of the run uh, with like a three hour run. So I don't know. I don't know what the, the current emulator runners do. I know Wartab was considering any time doing an emulator run to basically like do a complete hard reset at Norman just to, to remove all the garbage in memory. <laughs> and oh, wow. yeah. Like it's that that kind of a a thing with the lag, but I know I plan on doing a, at least one run on emulator at some point just to see how it really compares. Because um, I think the the current emulator runners are basically on emulator because they don't have 3ds or they don't have 3ds capture, I guess I should say. Um, so I don't know if we have like a a really good comparison. Yeah, I think I've heard you say that sub three is probably possible i don't remember the exact words you said but yeah i mean i think it's possible i think you know the the first split of the game where you beat rival one up on route 103 like you can save 15 seconds on emulator on an eight minute split so hmm. i mean if you if you have the same sort of time save as the run goes on you know you might be able to get sub three yeah, like nineteen thirty Roxanne is ridiculous. <laughs> Would this depend on how good your like system is as well? Yeah, uh, that's the other thing. Is Citra really? Um, if you don't have a good computer, it's not going to run very well. So worse you, than Desmi Bay? Yeah. I uh, I believe so. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's gotten better over the years. Um, like that's part of the reason why we're allowing it now. Um, within the last year or so. Is it's gotten to a point where it's at least usable um, with these games. I know that there's some. I saw some talk in the Discord about like some of the motion control specific stuff that you have to do in like Ultrason Ultra Moon can be tough to emulate, but. Um, what do you mean, bro? Just pick up your computer. Yeah, just pick up the computer and like move the monitor around. <laughs> But yeah, really solid run overall. Instead of actually doing truly specs, I think it'd be bad to do y'all's etiquette. Yeah, so uh, this is the former second place um, at the time. Uh, highlighting my finest moment in the run, of course. That was, I was sitting there waiting for her, her to spin and just decided to walk in front of her. Um, <laughs> so this, this is the... Old second place for Alpha Sapphire, um, 307. This was a really, really good start. Um, I forget. 
it was like a 122 Norman, which is a really, really fast Norman split. Um, and then my end of the game was really good as well. However, the the mid game, my my Latius wasn't very good. Um, I hit the spinner there. I actually died twice. I died to rival four, um, as well as one of the fights in Mount Pyre. Um, so I think looking back to the the old, um, you know, the old fastest time from IMAX uh, way way back. I lost about four minutes in the Latius section. Uh, so this this run had a ton of potential. Um, I also had a, a Kyogre section I don't think I can ever hope for again. I had a very fast Glacia. Uh, I think it was like Sheer Cold Miss. And then I also froze Steven's Skarmory. And I froze Drake's um, Kingdra. And the Kingdra is more of like a just like a small one turn save, but the Skarmory was really nice because that's what you use to set up on. So you use Ice Beam to break sturdy, um, and then f freezing the Skarmory just gave me free setup for the rest of the fight. But uh, I sort of stopped playing a bit after this because I was having some wrist issues, but I'm hoping to get back to this and try to beat this time because this is like my Omega Ruby time right now. This is not a very satisfying run. Uh, with all the mistakes and deaths and stuff. Um, and then maybe about a week after I got my time, uh, here's Truly with a 306.47, new world record for Alpha Sapphire, beating Retrotato's time by exactly one second. Um, I don't know how many frames it was, but it was definitely a really stressful end for Truly here. Um, you're basically relying on this swallow to kill you as fast as possible. Um, and I think didn't get any amazing luck, but was far enough ahead of the record that was able to, to sneak it out here. Um, this was really impressive just because truly picked up these games maybe in January, may have been December, um, but, you know, worked his way up the Omega Ruby leaderboards and then ended up, you know, taking the Alpha Sapphire record here. Uh, which is pretty impressive for such a short amount of time running the game. Yeah, I was just thinking, I think there was one critical hit. I don't know if it was enough to save one turn, but if it was, um, then... Just looking at the segment time, probably didn't save a turn, because uh, like an 11.24 is what you're usually hoping for, but you can see at the bottom, um, his Kyogre was lax, so he had the, the most defense possible and the most HP possible there, so... Oof. Uh, definitely had the slowest version of the fight. Is this still not true world record, though? I have to ask. It is still not true world record, yes. The The true one is a 306.20. But... Getting close. It's getting close. Getting close, yeah. And then... Good old tied world record right here. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, last of the 3DS runs here. This was Wartab tying Ringo getting deja vu here uh tying ringo's uh 458 from last month uh with a 458 of his own and this was a really solid run um as you can see like a bit of red in the splits um but ahead of record for most of the run and then wartab got a pretty bad Lun lunala um so you know didn't end up staying too far ahead of the record um but I think when he his final split actually came in under the record, but when it was retimed, it was to the same second. So, yeah, I think it was a late, no, early, whichever way it was, but at the beginning, it was like something okay. like one, like the first, like when he started the timer. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's unfortunate or actually quite. I say it's like a tied world record, in a way. I know it sounds like it sounds weird, like just thinking about it. But it's like the fact is in what I was saying, like because it's like a five-hour run, you just wouldn't expect it in Moon. You'd maybe expect yeah. it in like Red <laughs> or like the earlier gen games, like the shorter runs, but not a, like a almost five-hour category. 
yeah it's it's pretty wild especially like you know if it was a game where it was you know either less rng or like if the splits were closer throughout the entire thing you might think that but like where he was ahead and then behind and then ahead again like you know just going back and forth like that and all of a sudden ending with the same time is pretty remarkable hmm, yeah I wonder if either of them are going to try and actually push for the world record, or they're just going to leave it. This is Moon. <laughs> yeah, it is Moon. Uh, I don't know what Ringo's been up to, but it wouldn't surprise me if Wartab takes a little bit of a break and then tries to to beat this again. Yeah, Ringo was talk. playing Red Classic last I saw. Ooh, yeah. interesting. I yeah. think it, I think it's funnier if it's left as a tie, though. Yeah, I know. Like in in such a long run that it ends up being a tie. <laughs> I think that's what Wartab was saying, too. Um, yeah, so moving on to the Switch games, uh, we have two two runs to talk about here. Uh, the first one here is Jay Ash's Let's Go Pikachu any percent world record, um, breaking that 303 barrier and down to a 302. So now uh, Eevee and Pikachu are only 22 seconds apart again. Um, it's been a while since they were you know, neck and neck like that. Um, this run overall was, was pretty good. Um, luck was fairly average. Um, had a pretty good Starmie in terms of offensive stats. Um, I think the, the speed was a bit of an issue, but the, um, you know, special attack was really good. So I was able to carry him. Um, but overall, like, you know, you can see from the splits, the splits in Let's Go are a bit misleading just because yeah, it happens. really depends. Yeah, it really depends on how many Pokemon you have caught here. Um, let me see. So one of the time uh, time things I usually do is uh, when you exit Rock Tunnel, I figure that's like a really good... Because when you exit Rock Tunnel, you're done with the like all of the early catches. Um, and you're really focused on um, you know a lot more fights with Hideout and Tower and stuff like that. Uh, but you're not completely done with catches, so it's usually a pretty good uh, indication of how the early game went. A 116, is that 25 exit with 32 Pokemon is honestly pretty good. Um, I try to shoot for about like a 117 with 33, and that's you know right on pace with this. So like this was a this was a really solid um, you know early game. It's not an amazing early game by any means, uh, but it could have been. Could have been a whole lot worse. Um, and then, like I said, the, the Starmie sort of helped out at the end. I feel like I'm required to say that Pikachu is the better version. Until the, the time is faster. That is <laughs> a false statement. <laughs> um, no, honestly, it, it, it won't surprise me if we're talking about Let's Go Pikachu again next month with a 301. Uh, you know, if, if Jay Ash or Kerbis um, or any of the other runners really put some time in they can definitely do it i don't think anybody at a top level is really running eevee at the moment um and you know most people like the pikachu route better i'm sort of the opposite where i'll when i come back to the game i'll be focused on eevee but um it's it's starting to get to the point where people can unironically ask when sub three will be so I'm, I'm should be an exciting to, year uh, i'm trying to think from my like eevee side of it i know i think I remember Aspect talking about looking into stuff that could be a bit faster for Eevee. Um, then, yeah, I mean, like I've got I've got a few optimizations and things like that um, that I've been I've been working on. Mostly things like you know menus, uh, shopping, and then a couple of fights that can be a little bit faster. But um, honestly, like the the current Eevee record had kind of a a bogus section here in hideout where my stats were something that like just don't happen ever because for anyone that doesn't know the stats in this game for your starter are always 31 iv so you're really only focused on the nature of the pokemon um but because of the way that there's no evs in this game you gain a random essentially bonus stat point every level up if you get a lot of those random stat points on level up to go into specific stats you can do some really crazy stuff and that's that's sort of what happened on the eevee run so that was why it ended up being like you know two minutes faster than anything else at the time um but to see the this you know pikachu route get 
within that like within striking distance without that crazy stat luck is you know very impressive this this will pikachu will take over eevee within the next couple months i guarantee it I've, the, I've, the bonus I've... stat stuff that's dependent on characteristic isn't it or like which one is more favored to be put into right yeah because it, it's like the characteristic will i think there's something in the game where it's like your pokemon the avs it will gain are set when you get it so like if i were to if i were to get my starter save do a run and then reset and do another run i'll get the same avs um so it's like it knows what stat will gain the most avs by level 100 and that becomes your characteristic but like you know we only go up to level 28 so you could have a attack favored characteristic and see like two avs in attack um it's just that's the one that's going to be favored but it's all random interesting garth in the chat saying the characteristic thing might be a bit of a myth i remember Wattab telling me that it was like it wasn't confirmed but he feels like that was the case it like probably will it probably is the characteristic it's not like fully confirmed right yeah i mean i i don't know if it actually matches the characteristic i know the stuff with the that was my assumption with it i know the stuff with like your pokemon will gain the same avs is true um i've done a couple tests on that unless i just got really lucky which i guess is possible but um but yeah in you know anecdotal evidence suggests that the characteristic does have some factor there once again pikachu's better <laughs> um yeah and then moving away from let's go into sword and shield um this is the pokemon shield any percent with dlc category um new record by aspect um shield honestly just didn't have a ton of runs so while this is a very good time um this was sort of due uh for you know for happening yeah. uh, aspect here got crocodile which is so far what the community believes to be the best pokemon to get um I guess for anyone who doesn't know what the heck this category is, basically you uh, do the first 45 minutes of the game, go over to the DLC area and enter Dynamax Adventures, and then you catch a Pokemon that appears in the Dynamax Adventures, which is a pool of like 200 Pokemon. And then you take the Pokemon that you get and run the game using that. And the reason it ends up being faster is because that Pokemon you get from Dynamax Adventures is level 65 before your first batch. So you end up with like a 15 minute detour and save all of that time back up and actually end up surpassing the main any percent category. Um, and so Crocodile is, you know, definitely one of the best, if not the best Pokemon to get from the Dynamax adventure. Uh, his Crocodile here was bold. Uh, so not very good, but with Earthquake as one of the moves, uh, it's a really good spread move for especially the late game when there's a lot of double battles so um yeah, yeah overall this was a really really good time but just to point out before this like well the world record was it was your like was it 411 it was like a 411 yeah yeah and then i think a couple of hours like during this whilst this room was happening um i think it was gl phoenix got like a 406 Yep. something with a uh, with Kruger, Kruger deal as well so i guess technically he had the world record for like an hour i don't know yeah so, yeah something, was... something to what you did to t-bat actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh aspect actually got like a 407 earlier in the uh earlier in the month and then yeah geo phoenix yeah. got a 406 and then like in the post in like pbs and clips it's like here's the new world record will be beaten by aspect on the like aspects currently going to beat this or something like that like currently yeah. on the run that'll beat it yeah i know aspects been putting like a good amount of work into like, he's made a lot of the i think he's made a lot of the routes and like i know who's also been like updating them 
well. So like, but like they've been putting a ton of time into this category. Like who am pushing for sub four hours in sword? Yeah, and the the differences between the two games are honestly pretty minimal. Like the the games are split mostly because it makes sense for any percent. Um, but there are some differences here. Um, shield in general is just harder to get through. Uh, just because the ice gym can be more of a nuisance. Uh, Lapras is very bulky for that stage of the game. So even though you have something that's like 40 levels higher, um, that fight can be a, like an actual you know, pain to deal with. So, um, Whereas like the same fight in, in Sword, you know, Gordy is like just a pushover basically. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, really, really cool to see Shield getting some love here. Um, 403, 53 would put it at, I think, third place on the main sword, like on the sword board for this. Um, and is, you know, officially faster than both sword and shield, just like standard any percent. So, yeah, um, it's, it's good to see this. So, I think I was in it. Also open. That. I'll move snap over into here. So here we go. <laughs> so I don't know where you specifically want to start, Gun, because I forgot. <laughs> so my apologies. Oh, no, no problem. So I'll take over from here. I'm a guest on the podcast. My name's Eric. Um, so I'm going to be highlighting a previous world record. It was only by three frames, but it's more so less a proof of concept because there is a lot of time to be saved on this category. Uh, in fact, on my last world record, I do lose uh, eight seconds. So. I save a little bit of time, but there's still more time to save. Um, but yeah, people don't know this game. Um, it is an on-rails shooter, but there is more depth to it than just meets the eye. Um, like, it, it, if you've never speedrun the game, you think, okay, Pokemon Sep seems like a very ga easy game to speedrun because it's just taking pictures. And then when you find yourself speedrunning the game, uh, you run into trouble like, oh, I'm short on points, short on Pokemon. No, I didn't get the right item from Oak. Um, I guess a couple of things I'll highlight. So like, what just happened over there? Um, with Diglett and you may you may have not seen this in your first playthrough as a kid and you, you might be wondering why would you take multiple pictures of Diglett when you can only submit one on the oak check uh, that is because some of Pokemon in this game require an event so an event can be triggered if you red dot a certain Pokemon and then a preceding Pokemon will appear after that so if you notice I took another picture of Diglett after the first Diglett it spawned a set of Doug Trio and then the, after taking a picture of the Doug Trio, it spawned another set of Doug Trio. Um, so stuff like that. There's a lot of like small intricacies in the game. Um, I'll leave it at here for a bit. Uh, I'll tell you to skip the cave uh, later. Uh, I'm just going to talk about some of the finer points here. Um, at a top level, this game mostly becomes more of a menuing and mashing game. It's just because of the, the, the sheer optimization of this game over the years. If you notice, like the, the top three times, so myself... Quo, Liam, going down the list, Drogi, Levon, we're all within about 10, 13 seconds with each other. And uh, generally, just from consistent play over the years, we were able to play very close within our sum of best. So, for example, on that split over there, we played uh, 0.5 seconds. That I played 0.5 seconds off my, my sum of best. Um, yeah, uh, th there is a lot of RNG in this game. Um, there we there I did a setup with Rapidash, so I do have to throw an apple at the floor to make Rapidash uh, stop the two Rapidash stops, so I can take a picture. And like, there's four criterions in which Oak judges pictures. So Oak will judge size, pose, technique. If it's centered, you will get double points on both your size and pose combined. And then there's also another uh, add-on you can get with your total point score with a Pokemon. It is called uh, the same species. So if you have the same species. For example, that Rapidash, uh, you will get more points. And since it's also centered, we also get double points of technique. So it rounds out to about a little over 5k, just under 5k, depending on how good the picture was. Do you um, mind if I just ask something? Because like Garth mentioned about like the frame difference. Um, so it's like how like, it's, if it runs at 30 FPS, how is it a three frame full drive was Yeah. Oh, correct. Yeah. So the, this game runs at 30 FPS. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a three frame world record. Uh, uh, the, the other games, for for example, like on um, on Virtual Console, it doesn't emulate the game perfectly. There is no lag on Wii U Virtual Console. 
mostly people who don't run on the N64 uh, will run on Wii U. Um, there is no lag, however, because Snap is such a poorly coded game. Also, yes, Rip Liam, our good, lovely friend Liam. Uh, since it's such a poorly coded game, uh, for whatever reason, the same picture you take on N64 compared to Wii U, you will not get the same points. Um, but yeah, l like uh, like you were saying, this is a three frame world record. Um, I guess now I'll, I'll get you to skip the cave. So about maybe maybe okay. two minutes ahead from here. Minutes ahead. Oh, you keep going. Actually, another minute ahead, possibly. Okay. After Oak, I'm gonna guess. Ah uh, yes. So uh, when we start off cave here, th this is actually where most of the meat I saved. Uh, on my previous world record, uh, there is a trick in this game called Weep and Bell Snipe. Uh, you use a visual cue in the air, and you have to fire a set of apples on two spots on the map. And we call it Weep and Bell Snipe because we shoot an apple from from a far distance. And um, we, we essentially get Weep and Bell to evolve quickly so we can get a picture of Victory, Victory Bell because we need Victory Bell for the total points. Um, so there, for, for example, that Grimer was an event Pokemon. If you notice, after I made Ditto evolve and I took a picture of Ditto, I took a picture of Grimer before that Grimer and then it spawned another Grimer. And that is how you get Muck. Um, so here, uh, this is what I did um, that I didn't do in my previous world record. I do get the Snipe. Uh, I look. Is it? Sorry. <laughs> to be honest, because no, no, it's okay. Um, it's good that I highlight this because I wasn't going to mention it. Um, so there, I, I hit the snipe on the fourth apple. Uh, because Weep and Bell is the pattern is very random, and at, at which cycle he goes. If you see Weep and Bell before you go for the snipe, usually that pattern won't work. So you have it rounds out to about a thirty percent chance of you succeeding in the actual trick. There, I do get it. It was a late snipe, however, so I do lose a bit of time here. And here I'm just optimally menuing, and I, um, like most courses in the game, you have to you have to quit, so you go to the oak check. Um, but yes, uh, I guess pretty much that's generally all I have to say. Uh, you do need 130,000 points entering this next stage, so I do get 130,000 points. I'm I'm five seconds ahead here. Um, but unfortunately, due to an RNG, RNG element at the end of the game because we have to fight Mew, which has six phases, which are all completely random. Um, I lose most of my time save there. And in fact, I actually have a very good Mew on my previous world record. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the time save that I need to get going forward. And this run just shows how much more potential there is. There's so nothing much going on in this stage. So we just really look at this guy at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, it just pure lag reduction at the end. I'll just put this in you so there's just something that, that's not the sky in the background. So like mm -hmm. you said the like the eight seconds of time loss, is that like left like for the potential of the run or is it just or is there even more at that point? Uh there is even more because I've had a pace faster after cave compared to this split. Um yeah. I do lose eight seconds. I, I was mentioning I lose eight seconds on my previous world record compared to oh. my PB. But in this run, I only lose about three seconds in cave because I did get a late snipe. And then it rounds out to about another eight seconds because I only do PP by another three frames, which is you know, quite unfortunate. Um, when we're shooting these apples in the sky here, uh, we really want to hit Mew at the very far back where he spawns. So you notice I'm preemptively shooting these apples before he spawns. And the closer he is to the back, like where that Kingler sign is, then the closer he will disappear and then spawn on his next phase. If you hit him very close, you have to wait for him to go all the way back after he's uh, fatigued from getting hit, and then he'll respawn. So it's not only RNG, but you also get got to get very lucky, which is you got to guess where he spawns, and you got to hopefully get the right, um, just the right position on the apple throw. Um, obviously, if audio is playing, I do, uh, I am kind of slapping myself on the wrist here because I do split early. There is a bit of uh, you have to, um, or sorry, let me go over that again. The timing ends on the, the red text. So I did split a bit early and I didn't mash all the way through. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much about it. It is like uh, fairly active, the game. Um, we do have a new snap coming out, of course. But ideally, I, you know, I, I would like to get a, a time much more significant than the three frame improvement over, you know, a nine month span. 
because it was nine months since my last PB, but you know, it is just a proof of concept that there is a lot more time to save. And uh, yeah, I think anybody who hasn't run this game, it, it is very relaxing if you all want, want to run it. The community is very active. There are a lot of tutorials out there. And I also am in fact making a an advanced world record guide for people who want to not only play the game and know the game, like the core concepts of the game, but also speed run it without, um, with knowing all the tricks, all the latest tricks. So that's kind of all I have to say about that run. We didn't bit that. I, I managed to start. No, we we might as well go back to the lag reduction in, in Valley. It, 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 this lasts for a whole two minutes, so feel free. We can self indulge. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think it's better than looking at an end screen, at least for now. But so just with the, um, like, it's not like, what was it? You said 13 seconds. Well, like, with it being that tight, uh, is it kind of being trained back and forth again? Because I know it was, it was last month. I know. Drogi got the 100% world record, I think. I'm trying to Oh, yeah, Drogi's back. been running this game. You, you were right. Drogi's been running this game, I think, I believe since 20. Early part of 2016. He did come back uh, after a big hiatus. And uh, yeah, we have a. It, it's fairly active. Like, we have a, a bunch of new people running. And uh, it, it just kind of shows you, like, obviously not saying that um, his 100% world record uh, isn't bad, so to speak. There is actually a lot of time to save in the 100% category. So right now it stands at 23.30. Um, I do have an unverified time of 23.19, but I can't say anything about that because the, the, I don't have the recording. Uh, but there is a lot of time to save in the 100% category specifically because there is more RNG. Uh, I save and exit, not save and exit, I exit course in Volcano. But then when you progress throughout Volcano towards the end, you do have to shoot in a pit of lava where it will spawn either a Growlithe and a and an Arcanine. And you, you have a roughly about a 50% chance to get that Arcanine. Sometimes it doesn't work out and then you have to reset probably like 20 minutes in. Um, but yeah, as, as far as like time save, like there is to go. Honestly, we're kind of reaching the limit. Uh, there is kind of a meme like, um, okay, wake me up when Mew skip is found. Like hopefully we can get a picture of Mew instead of hitting him six times. That would obviously save a significant amount of time. But right now it's kind of reaching its limit. I'm just trying to get the time save that I'm I'm lacking. So when I hit a 2025, that's uh I'm I'm I think I'm calling it quits for any percent at least, unless something new is found. Yeah, I mean like I guess well like this beam I like, I know like let me start again. I have to put put my teeth back in. Uh, I know that... Numbers. Yeah, so like, because it's been around like, well, N64, 20, 20 years, like all this optimization at this point, is gonna like come to a head. And this, as you're saying, it is coming to a head. But it'll be a bit yeah, tricky, I... but do you think, do you think you'll be the person to the, get that get that run first? Like that big run? Or... Um. Well, I guess I, I, I've had the fastest pace going into Mew. Um, it, it isn't really a priority for me, but it, it would be very nice to say that I do have Technically speaking, a flawless run, if I could get it. Um, it, it does involve a lot of time because I, I like to refer to the first stage of the beach like 1-1 in Super Mario Bros. If, if anybody's watched top level play of that game, it's just reset after reset. Right. And because you need 22 and a half points, 22.5k points in a beach, and there is an RGL element with uh, Butterfree, sometimes we'll fi we find ourselves mostly resetting, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, 2025 is just the end goal overall. Like Quo, Quo is very capable too. Uh, he has the Wii U uh, VC world record, so the true world record, God's intended console. He has it. Uh, that's a twenty twenty seven right now, and actually that game can go down as far as twenty fifteen or even lower potentially because there is no lag. Although it is harder to take pictures and get the the points you need because of the coding. Um, yeah, there it, it isn't a very explored category, and I think if people had the console, they'd be able to run it more. Yeah, after you go through all the stages, you have to get these signs. So I'm just going through signs. And it, it's honestly... Like, for me, it's all just muscle memory at this point. Like, that, that is why I'm able to play, like... Like, get a, maybe a point zero gold. 0 0.1 seconds off my summer best. So it, it's really just comes down to... Can I get good RNG and can I just play consistent overall? 
because like in the last four years this, this game's only improved by 30 seconds it's it's quite surprising how little the improvement is although it is quite great when you consider what goes into the game they're all just slight optimizations here and there yeah, i mean that sounds it sounds like it's definitely like like if you, especially if you're that fourth friend of that race i guess to get that like that top run like that room with all the right look it's gonna be yeah to be a part of that it, it is it is very rewarding knowing that like because like once you get past cave and you you okay you get the 30 percent chance cloister which by the way also is a an rng element if you get the 30 percent cloister um you do get weep and mill snipe if weep and mill just so happens to get hit by the apples and it gives you a good cycle it's nice because the nerves kind of kick in but then you get to relax at this guy for like two minutes so yeah. um yeah, it would be nice to get that eventually, for sure. All right, thank, like, thank you for going through that. Because I know, like, like, because we went briefly over Grogi's like, uh, run last uh, last month, but none of his new snap, and I didn't have the foresight to ask him <laughs> about anything. So just having like that, having this bit more of an in depth. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Definitely. Yeah, we little, actually like, helpful for me, who's never even played the game. I don't know about everyone else who's here. Oh yeah, of course. No worries. Like I guess we're kind of like the we we are fairly known because we have we do have over a hundred people on the board at least for N sixty four. Like there is one hundred and twenty nine people, but we still kind of are like the dark horse of the community because a lot of people know the game, but they don't kind of know the game. So there there are like I guess a little misconceptions, but I'm fine to clear it up. Um, we, we Jogi and I actually had a. Uh, a GDQ any percent race on the uh, the channel. And this was a month ago. Well, he did uh, get the best of me in that one because I did forget a Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about the game. Yeah. Uh, generally. Okay. Yeah, thank you for going through that. And I guess we're carrying on with the uh, noted runs. So, oh, yeah. not a problem. I, so I've mentioned it before. I figured out the issue with the video going away whenever I go into Discord. This is a problem because the all the information that I have about that I've been told from Mozzarella Cheese and from uh, whom about these runs are all on Discord. <laughs> so hopefully you'll at least be able to see it and it's just like a hover issue. So if we'll find out now. And I think from the looks of it, we don't. <laughs> right, I'll try and remember from by the best off the top of my head. But basically uh, this is Mozzarella Cheese's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, Explor Explorers of Darkness and Time. Uh, recruit them all. Wonder Mail. Uh, world Record with a 20 hours, 23 minutes and 7 second run. Um, what, like, what I was told was really, really good luck throughout the whole run. Like, saying that it was like his luckiest run in 3 years of speedrunning. And, like, just for example, like, by this clip specifically that he got for me like so it's got like i think it's a lumine which will like show like it's an ability that'll show all the opponents on the floor and then like an immediate soul rock recruit which i'm going to assume is something that takes a while to get or it's like a more difficult recruit to get so definitely uh one of the big highlights there but then also with this next clip getting keckley on after only 30 minutes which for context is a 0.1% chance, which the only type of scope I have for this, and it's it's dumb, but it's picking up rare candies with Zigzagoon and Sword Shield. It's a book with like at least we think it's like a at least I think is like a 0.1%. And that took me like I was probably getting a rare candy like on average an hour. So the fact that you managed to get a Kekli on 30 minutes. That is ridiculously good luck. And then with other things they mentioned, like there was only three bad luck points effectively in a 28 hour run being like, I think it's an Ekans recruit, Lucario, and then like the unknown section. So ridiculously lucky run, but also like obviously you got the need to need the skill to be able to at least capitalize on it. Going on to Shiguma's run and this is thanks to whom this. So, the main, again, another very lucky run from what I'm understanding here. Like, there was five escape orbs, which 
there is five days like five filler mission days where you need to do a mission it's just to progress the story however if you use an escape rope uh, that's not escape rope i'm thinking to the main games there an escape orb to go into a dungeon you can just use the escape orb to get out of there and that pretty much finishes the day the filler mission days almost instantly so the fact that he was able to get five escape holes which again i'm going to assume is like a random chance to get to fill out those five days and i think in context whom said like to get four is really good so the fact that he got managed to get five was pretty much like the best case scenario and then also uh, he got missions at beach cave which i'll be honest i don't i didn't fully understand what whom was talking about with that bit but i think it was like with the mission boards you get like you can get missions from a mission board. I think they were all for Beach Cave. Don't know how that was quick, but apparently it was quick. So again, apologies on that. I'm kind of paraphrasing that one from memory more so. And then going back to the earlier point at the beginning of the podcast with the sequence break in that was found in Explorers of Sky. So this is kind of like so I think it was around thirty minutes beforehand. Um uh, Sniper Wave, name for a second. So Sniper Wave managed to get a dungeon, which had like, like the Jirashi mission dungeon. What it, I think, oh, from what I've understood, is that doing like getting like the Wonder, like using the Wonder Melko to get the Jirashi mission, you made like it's they've made it so that it unlocks the final dungeon. Where you can unlock Dark, like you fight Dark Rite and basically end the category because this is uh, Explosive the Sky beat Dark Rite. Probably should have mentioned that earlier on. Uh, that this is this world record as well for the previous one for Shigama because I didn't, never mentioned that. That was also Explosive the Sky. Any percent, no Wonder Mail, Japanese Wii U world record. And then this category is uh, Explosive the Sky beat Dark Rite Wonder Mail English DS world record. So, with doing what, uh, like with being able to uh, beat uh, beat Jirashi and like unlock the mission, I think it was set so it was to unlock. Uh, it was set so the mission replaced uh, that creator. I think Cinder's in chat. If you knows a bit more about it, Gas also got more information about Beach Cave for the previous run. So, just quickly read over that because that's probably a much better explanation than what I gave. But basically, with what was uh, Cyber was able to do with that Jirachi, like with the Wonder Mail uh, code that was set up to unlock the Jirachi mission, it was set in so it, it was set so that it would replace Dark Crater, which once you've then finished the mission, it unlocks Dark Crater, which you are then going into this final section of the run. I, I think it said that it skips 75% of the entire post game. Uh, so, massive time save. He ends up uh, being the world record, or at least his PB, I think. Yeah, his PB by an hour. So, like, that just shows the potential of this. Okay. So, the Jirachi later forces the dungeon to unlock, use it to unlock Dark Crazy Dungeon. Thank you, Cinder. And, yeah, so it's. Skipping a lot of the post game, it doesn't affect any percent this uh, sequence break because I think it, I think it can just only be done after the credits roll and for the post game. And yeah, it was only found this month as well, so really massive discovery. I think also I think Cinder also mentioned earlier, like or when like when it was first brought up to me that you can also use it to unlock demo dungeons, which is like going to be useful for recruit them all but no one's been able to take advantage of that just yet because again it's only been found very recently so definitely a lot more potential in this as well because i think ds might also be the slowest version from what i think i've heard again i'm not too familiar with these runs so this is de uh, this could definitely be like uh, there's going to be a lot more mystery dungeon runs i think coming up over the next few months so, with that jumbled explanation aside from uh, the lack of Discord, because everything was... I just had the nice script there and I can't use it. Uh, I think Sacred Gold, so Iron. If Iron is here. <laughs> oh. 
I think we've lost iron. Yeah, I think we've lost iron. No, no. No, no. Hey, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Sorry. I thought there were more of the uh, the uh, the side games. But yeah, this is uh, a run of JP Magic Man of Sacred Gold, which is a Heart Gold Soul Silver ROM hack by Driano. Um, and this is done at 60 FPS, so it's quite fun in that everything goes very fast. Obviously, manipulations are pretty much out of the question since the movement is insanely fast. Um, this run clocks in in under three hours. The 30 FPS record is about six hours, so it's twice as long. So it's a nice fast game. Unfortunately, the biggest issue, or the big issue that I'm highlighting here, is um, you have to do the Kanto gym leaders in order. Um, I guess the regular like Gen One order. So you have to do Brock first, and you run a Charizard for this. And his Brock's pokes have things like Sturdy, like the Onyx, and they have Stone Edge. I think his Onyx and his Pseudo Wudo both have Sturdy, uh, and they both have Stone Edge, so they can just wipe knock you out. And I think he ends up wiping here uh, in his first attempt to Brock because of uh, because of that. So, um, but it's a pretty cool run. Um, I think you get the Charmander in Violet City as a gift mon. Um, don't remember who you start with in this hack, um, but I think it's Toted Alpha, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be wrong there. But you run most of the game with the Charmander line. And so, as you can see, he wipes back to Mom. He just surfs back into Kanto from New Bark Town and then goes and does Brock again. Um, yeah, I think from what I recall, the champion fight is not too difficult either. It's actually pretty easy with Charizard because you just outspeed Pikachu and you can set up on um, set up on everything else pretty easily. But uh, it's a pretty fun little ROM hack. I haven't played it myself, but uh, I know JT and Kyotora were racing this, uh, doing runs of this for a bit. And they're the, they're the, generally the two that have been running this category. Uh, both the 30, 30 FPS and the 60 FPS uh, variations of it as well. But uh, yeah, Barack's a major troll uh, for several reasons. I guess you could, yeah, you can move on to the next one here. So this one I know a little bit less of. This is uh, Kyotora's, um, this is also 60 FPS for Pokemon Renegade Platinum, which is uh, ROM hack of Platinum. And again, it's another difficulty hack. Um, so it's pretty much the same kind of map, but a lot of things have been changed and added. Um, for whatever reason, he has 99 of each TM in his in his inventory here, which is kind of odd. <laughs> I don't remember exactly why that is, but um, you end up uh, blitzing through the game with Infernape, and this is also Manipolis, I believe. They have done manipulations for the Chimchar. I don't remember if Chimchar has always been the one they've been trying to run for this uh, for this game. Uh, but again, at 60 FPS, you can't really consistently do the movement uh, required to get that specific uh, seed for your for your starter. And for like encounterless and all of that, um, you typically see in Gen four and uh, Gen five, for that matter. So yeah, that was that's a pretty interesting uh, interesting uh, ROM hack as well. Uh, the thirty FPS it clocks in about double this uh, around six hours as well, if I recall correctly. So sixty FPS is a nice way to play it fast, although you have to be uh, you are bonking quite a lot in this game for sure. Yeah, so that's think, all I have. All right, so moving on to the marathon runs, and I'm going to just throw this straight out there. There was a marathon uh, Helvetic speed run at Marathon Online 1. The clips that I had have gone. <laughs> so I don't know if this was more that they just weren't saved or I was an idiot. But hopefully, not sorted. Uh, or hopefully, it'll be fine. Uh, but either way, at least for now, so skip, well, basically in the marathon there was Genesis who did Gold Soul Venny percent no save corruption. It didn't end up finishing because of uh, each and Fury Cutter to center it by accident. But I later on managed to like show 
like after I think there may have been a run in the middle of it, gave them some time afterwards to like show what the end of the run would have looked like. It was a Razor Flame Kun with a Puzzle Challenge Intent, which was a 4138. I believe that was overestimate at the time. Uh, but it's a very, like, not knowing much about Puzzle Challenge, but the brief little bit I saw it, well, as the challenge, as the mode difficulty suggests, it's intense. Uh, and then Genesis as well later on with Red Blue Reverse Badge Order at 35 minutes. I think that was overestimate as well. But I don't remember. So I will now just again. So that was just a quick interlude on my end to the other host, which I discovered that in the middle of the podcast. So <laughs> but carry on as normal with Autumn Oct uh, Autumn Octagon Spring 2021. The French Marathon. So iron, because it's uh red blue any percent glitchless. Can we cover that? Yeah, I didn't get much chance to review this. Uh, but yeah, it's uh yeah, red any percent glitchless. Looks like um either it's they're not doing moon manip here, or maybe he just IGT'd or something. Um it looks like he actually wanted that Paris, so <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, if they're uh, doing only some of the manipulations that you typically see for a red uh, speedrun. And then yeah, I didn't yeah I didn't get much of a chance to take a look at that one. And then this is PSG on line four, Etienne and Genesis. Again, with it being Gen one. I don't know anything about this. Oh, yeah, just get the badges in reverse order. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if but there's. I don't know if there's been been much in terms of PD uh, progressions in this in this category recently, but it seems like it's still pretty popular in, at marathons. It is a fun. It is a fun category to watch for sure. Yeah, and it's a. Setting. It's a good length for marathons too, because you know Pokemon runs can be tough with like two hours on the low end for like a main category, but around 40 minutes, yep. half hour, this is a good length. Yeah, so I think it ended up being the Etienne, uh, Etienne one with a 34 flat, and then Genesis got 40-12 with a B one that I put apparently. So apparently there was a mistake using too many balls at one point. I think I knew what that meant at the time. I don't know what that means now. So, yeah, it's something to do with the amount of items you need in your inventory. Right. Probably, I'm not familiar with this category too much. Etiquette would know a bit more. Yeah, the if he used all of his his balls, then menuing would be completely messed up, and that that can definitely impact things with underflow. So I don't, I'm not too up to speed with like the current route for RBO, but that wouldn't surprise me if something bad happened oh yes thought you uh, commentated that don't worry we can we can make we can make people listen to you italian speaking later but uh link to the cure first hand from m chan 338 yellow glitchless yeah from okay. from what we can tell uh m chan is pretty satisfied with this uh five minutes under estimate um a few technical difficulties uh, during the run. I can't remember exactly what they were, but a pretty good showcasing of yellow as well. I think I think was he was M Chan doing lots and lots of different games in the same marathon. Was this the marathon where he had like four runs in? Yeah, I think in all different games. Like I had like a bunch of Mario games yeah. as well. I think they also had technical difficulties. I think I don't know if it was on M Chan's end or. It was the stream end just cutting out. But yeah. It's a bit unfortunate. And then and like in chat. But then also Doshi. Fare pratica del prossimo pick up. Okay, so Stoki here uh, uh, an Italian speedrun marathon. Do we tell you? So that's uh it's pretty good. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough Italian voice. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I I call this late. 
I'll be honest. So I just know it's on Justin by a minute. So Stoshi, if you have any comments on this. <laughs> yeah, good old Italian voice. And then Brazilian Marathon. Brazilians against time. Shortened to Brat. First with uh, Fladovi. Yeah, Fladovi's run. Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Rescue Team DX. Any percent, no wonder mail. Uh, apparently, like a good bit underestimate, like it was around four minutes behind PB for the final time. So I assume probably pretty satisfied with that run. At least for a marathon run, I'd be especially in the like because this doesn't have a. I think the earlier mystery dungeon games, they're a lot more controlled. Like whilst this, there's a lot more randomness that can happen with the the X. My little knowledge. So I think like in it for a marathon at least. I would be very happy with like being close to my PB. Uh, and then there was yeah. also LD with yellow any percent glitchless. Classic. Classic, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I imagine this 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 category would not be fun <laughs> to run uh, classic style. But uh, yeah, I don't see what their DVs are, but uh, you generally want to have good stats for this route and you obviously have to have to make some modifications depending on what your uh what your stats were going back to pre rta switch back in 2016 so uh this run ended up going over estimate by quite a lot unfortunately uh due to a lot of deaths to uh agatha and uh, to the champion as well yeah uh, not something you something you don't want to see but uh good effort yeah I think we'll probably talk about this one a bit longer because this is also third place on the leaderboard. Oh, and it gives me an ad. Nice Boo. ad. Boo, this is what I should have <laughs> got Turbo. No. Um, <laughs> right, put this there for a second. No one needs an ad. No one gets free ads here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was uh, actually like on Thursday, so just two days ago. Um, this is the fourth gen gamer getting a new PB and a new third place for Pokemon Sun and Moon um, in the really, really lots of lore uh, marathon held on by really, really long a thon. Um, I, I unfortunately didn't get to catch a lot of the story because it was like midday and I was at work. But um, looking at the screenshot that he posted in the, the Discord, uh, the Poplio was really good. Uh, it was 31 IV plus special attack. So, um, really really solid but i mean even still like getting a 501 in a marathon when the record is only like a 458 um and a pb to boot is just like you know super impressive like that was a really good run yeah and I, yeah and I, I know um josh actually doesn't have a ton of marathon experience in general i think the, the first marathon he, he did was the psr marathon last year um and you know he's he's known for uh sort of skipping around between games a lot as well so the fact that he was able to put on such a good show um as i think it was the opening run of the marathon too um or if it wasn't opening it was like the second run it, it was the opening good. it was yeah. the op because all on also is is hacker david the mass rail must dale or your mom like there was just this on <laughs> uh, ongoing joke the entire time it was like it was I think it's not like, I can't remember how it started. It was like, I mean, okay, I know it was Water. I just know it was Water the side, but I don't know what it was specifically. <laughs> Water was basically like the heel, and he, he played a really good heel. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was, it was like, at least like the bits I watched, it was fun to watch. So yeah, good job. Good job, Josh and Water. And Hume and Nox as well, because they were also on commentary. Uh, and because this, like, the reason why I know that Josh was the first run, this was the second run. Uh, <laughs> so it's Pokemon back to back. Uh, like, so, like the room was focused on safety, like as far as I was aware, because it, after getting killed in Mount Freeze, on floor ten specifically. But ultimately, it, it seemed like a decent run. After uh, outside of that, and. I couldn't really talk too much about it because I didn't know anything. 
Uh, or like, I, like just watching it though, like Mystery Dungeon games. I really enjoy watching them. It's just I don't understand what's happening half the time. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's where I'm at with this. I'd say, but again, I think it only ended up being a bit behind estimates, and then I think like EB was like maybe like ten odd minutes behind. So it's not it's definitely not like a bad run. It could just might it might just be a case of a slightly tighter estimate than was maybe needed. But cool. Well done. I think like at the end like Machu Midori who like the run like just said uh like just finishing the run is good enough. Like or not good enough, but it's like an achievement. So again. Yeah. Especially with the marathon setting where Things can go on and typically love to go wrong. Congrats to them. And then going on to MMM like the MMN Angels. Starting off with a uh, Razor's run. Um yeah, so this is uh, another marathon that's happening actually right now. Um this was Razor's Edge doing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Um pretty solid run overall. Uh there was a lot of sort of you know, goofing around and, you know, having fun with it. Um, as you can see here, catching a Kangaskhan, you don't normally catch Kangaskhan. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty solid run overall, uh, just under estimate and, um, definitely a really good showcase. Yeah. Just under estimate as well with like walking with Kanga and like pet, like there was a lot of pet in the Eevees cause that, that was a, it was like $50, like every $50 donation, like pet the Eevee. There's yeah. a good amount, which is great for a charity. Like for a charity yeah, exactly. to get that. So again. Like a very solid run. Like with all that taken into account. And then I think like this happened like five hours ago. Yeah. Please bench press stadium two blindfolds challenge cup master ball difficulty. He's blindfolded. Like <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than the father again. Lapras apparently knows Zap Cannon, so I think, like, I think that again, I think it was like it was an underestimate run by like ten minutes though, or like just under ten minutes, which I, I don't I don't get how people do blind challenge runs, like how you have to like how much knowledge you have to know about the game, but like, I think he it like, was stated at the beginning that he had to like like the team is like that he has is picked at random. Or something like that. Like, oh, he won't know what. Like, he didn't know what his team would be, so he had to figure it out like, by, like, the noise, like by the Pokemon call. Yeah, and the moves they use as well make certain noises. Yeah, so just like that level of game knowledge is impressive. Like, something I don't think I could do. Yeah, and then if no, obviously the upcoming marathons. Oh, I say upcoming. This one, this is one that's currently happening. Uh, so currently on Final Fantasy, apparently. But mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow at around half six. Like all these are UK time, by the way. It's on my computer, so half six in the morning. So I might be able to catch the end of T Pats run. But Elite Four round two, Mega Ruby. And then, okay. Um, yeah, and then later on, it's earlier morning for me. It's like 7 in the morning for me, but uh, midday for UK time, I'll be doing the Pokemon Sword Any Percent with DLC. Um, this event is actually happening over on Kizron's channel. It's not a channel specific to the event. Uh, we just did that mostly for you know follower outreach and things like that, given that we were trying to raise money. So um, definitely check that out if you guys are around. And... The other marathon that's currently going on right now, uh, really, really lots of lore. Uh, the Emery there, not with Pokemon, but Emery's name there. And so there's RDA, a Rubidoki assassin with Pokemon Rumble. Uh, best Road Challenge. I think I also skipped actually. Cruel. I did. I'm sorry, Cruel. Uh, with the Galarian Star Tournament, which is basically the. Uh, any percent I don't want to say any percent plus DLC because that's the name of the <laughs> um, any percent with all of the DLC to complete 
Yeah, it's like complete all DLCs. Yeah, and then going back to the idea with Pokemon Rumble, 24 hour run with Professor Oak Challenge no passwords. So that's going to be... I think no matter where you are, you'll at least be able to catch a bit of it if you want to. But then on to Speed Dogs launch party, which this was mentioned on the last podcast. I've also done lap with Odyssey, not Pokemon, but seems other than why still currently here. That's a I may as well quickly shout that out, but then there's also Etiquette with RS any percent on the twenty fourth at yeah, put it Thirteen past eight in the evening, so like quarter past eight in the evening UK time. Uh, I think to take five hours off for EST. There's also the Green Name Percent tutorial, which does anyone know what that is? Or yeah, like I don't, I don't. Green isn't anything that I don't think's pushed. In speedrun for some reason. Yeah, maybe someone's walking someone else through it. I'm not sure. I've seen that before, like you'd have someone doing the run and then someone's coaching them through it. So that could be it's a very short run. It's green, any percent. That's what I think it is, but I could be wrong. So feel free to correct me. And there's Emerald Glitchless with Amoeba on the twenty fifth at 25 to 7 in the evening. And then there's a Pokemon Snap high score ex uh, exhibition and any percent on, uh, by Quo at 20 to 2 in the morning and for the high score exhibition. And then on the 25th at quarter to 10 at night is the any percent. I think there's also other Pokemon Snap stuff which uh, window window. I don't know what that is. Uh, if uh, if Gunlap, you, if you have an idea what that is. I guess not. So, on to the next marathon, which is Midwest Speed Fest, which, etiquette, as I try and find the date. Um, yeah, so Jay Ash will be doing uh, Let's Go Pikachu Baton Pass, so one of the category extensions. Um, it's kind of like one of the more popular category extensions in terms of like optimization routing uh, on the Switch games. And yeah, so that'll be on the 24th, uh, nice and early in the morning for the UK, uh, seven, right around 7 in the morning. Again, might be able to catch the end of it, maybe. What day is the 24th? That's that's a Saturday, okay. Yep. Alright, so then UKSG Spring. Uh rule once again, but this time with Poker Park Wii. You can choose adventure, so Poker Park 1, I believe that is. Uh on the 24th as well at 11, so just a bit after. I think actually that works quite nicely. Different marathon, so obviously it wasn't planned at all, but and finish watching uh, Jayash's run, and then go over and watch Cruel's run. That is, yeah, there is right at the top there. So any, just like simple any percent, well, not simple I'm going to guess, but any percent run. And there is Game Over Cancer Spring, and it's a uh, Pokemon Sword Shield, I don't know why I said the full name there, but uh, Tower of Two Fists, Get, get Her Shifu specifically. By uh, its conception to running it on the 25th at around 20 to 9 in the morning. Again, nice and early. There's a lot of nice and early runs, isn't there, for the UK? All these. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say nice for the US. This is awful for the US, is it not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that, that one right there is 3.41 in the morning for me, so. All, all these West Coast marathons, I guess. And the last marathon run that is upcoming 
as the screen went small on my end. Uh, Erwin Fernape at Retrothon uh, 2021 with Crystal randomized any percent on the 30th of April at 20 to 8 in the morning again. No, no, 20 to 8, the other one was 20 to 9. Okay, so an hour earlier. Uh, fucking 30th. There we go. Right there. Randomized any percent. So, again, all those coming up should be some plenty, plenty of interesting runs. Again, I don't just like. Personally, I'm actually the, the one I'm most interested in. If I'm gonna, uh, gonna pick a favorite, Barton Pass. I like the idea. Like, I don't think that's been done at a marathon before. As far as I'm aware, so that could that'll be an interesting run. See. And then, so, how are we wanting to do the leaderboard roundup? I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, we've already been here for a for quite a bit this week. To maybe want to just go through a couple of things from it. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, maybe like just like the top few from each category. So yeah. I'll, I guess we'll start it with Iron, seeing as it's Gen 1 to start off with. And throw him in the hot water. <laughs> yeah, so we have a couple uh, uh, times up here for any percent glitchless. Uh, Yujito, I think. I'm trying to see my screen, make sure I'm reading correctly. Yes, with 148, and also Sadash with uh, 148 as well. Uh, let me know as well if you need, to, if you need me to zoom in. And uh, no, that's good. It's good. Um, there are obviously a lot, and apologies that we're not going to be able to go through all of them the time we have here, but uh, lots of people putting up times. Uh, wow, there's almost 500 runners on that 90% glitches board. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, massive. Uh, did you? I didn't, okay. I did, I did not reorganize the leaderboard bot specifically. Because so. now we have stadium category <laughs> extensions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there's a lot of uh, lot of new categories here. Yeah, so I think we can yeah, we'll probably skip that. Here, but we'll <laughs> let me talk about yellow real quick because uh, we already talked about Poke Guy. But we also have Fran who got a 155 for tenth place, and M Chan after uh, who did a run in the, of this in the marathon, I believe, gets the sub two hours as well. Uh, Pokemon Chain card game eight. For the Japan Man 5, the 5802. Decent enough to remember, uh, mention. We got a gun lapse time there with Snap, 2032.467. Stadium, 7th uh, with Vito Amiibo, 136.39. Uh, gold Silver? Yeah, Gold, from what I can tell, Gold Silver isn't super busy, but uh, we have the Sizzle with. 319 and uh Juan Lee with a 319 as well. I didn't realize he was but that looks like an old one actually, February 21st. Oh, I guess that was within the month. Uh submitted on that might have been March. Old. Oh, okay, yeah, submitted late, uh, but yeah. Leaving it a month before submitting it. Cheeky. Uh <laughs> Crystal. A few in Crystal. Ocean Bagel 324. A few others. Um Yeah. Apologies if we don't get to your talk to your booty run. We'll be here for hours. Yeah. Uh, Ruby Sapphire. This is this is the Japanese category with Rin Chan with a sub two. I don't know where the Sapphire. I don't know if anyone's done Sapphire, submitted Sapphire in English, but it might just be shuffled yeah. in the wrong order here. So we'll, we'll we might get to that later. Yeah, I mean, all, all the games should be in the correct section. Yeah. Like, and all the categories would be under the game it's how SRC have added the new category extensions they're all hidden they're all hidden oh under boy. the main uh like the main series so if you toggle that tab you can see all like not all the category extensions just the new ones that have been added so it's fun <laughs> it's fun <laughs> yeah uh uh, one one thing I guess one one I can point out here in pinball is there are 
believe, I don't know if it's for the com complete Pokedex category or for for the for the other shorter categories, but there are manipulations uh, that have recently been used. Um, uh, and we see here Amoeba um, mentioning Dreek's Manips are very powerful. So uh, Amoeba has been working on pinball here and there, taking breaks from Emerald. So yeah, and then also Cash you actually world record. May as well throw it in there. While yeah. there. Four oh one. Uh, the one in Coliseum, Flax, Four oh one thirteen. A lot of fire green, fire red leaf green. Yeah, this this game's actually picked up a lot of steam recently, uh, because it's become much more accessible in terms of um, good guides being very easy to follow guides being available, as well as of course the tournament which is currently ongoing. There was a, a tournament race this afternoon. Um, we already talked about Shiru, uh, Cooker with a fifth place run. He was on emulator, but still a very strong low two o two. Wanley also with a two o three flat, uh, pinkish, with a Two of, high two of three as well. Another very strong emulator uh, time as well. I, in, as I well just as realized. A... Realized there was a missing run. I don't think the board picked it up. I don't think the board, like the uh, lead board board picked it up. Oh, what? Which one? It was. It was. Uh, it's. It's the gold world record. Oh really? Yeah, it didn't pick it up uh, by Igor Guevara. Oh right, yeah, of course. How can yeah. we get that? <laughs> sorry about that. But... Maybe it might it might <laughs> pop up next month. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of these yeah, a lot of these fire red times. Uh you see here a lot of these guys are all and girls are all in the tournament right now and going, so please be sure to check that out. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty exciting and lots of crazy stuff happening for sure. Yeah. Got Amoeba's fourth place in Emeralds. That wasn't mentioned in the uh, early yep. run because I, I removed it <laughs> sorry amoeba yeah amoeba's been chipping away slowly at his pb and i think he was saying he had like five pbs and he only took off a minute in total so <laughs> very small incremental improvements, improvements uh, on the any percent that? side there's a little bit of activity a lot of this comes came from a race an any percent race that was done in which Kurt actually got a very good time of two, 126, and he got first try on the glitch um, and won the race, actually. It's kind of funny. He was last going into the into the uh, the glitch section, and he ended up winning, which is kind of funny. Um, it wasn't the purpose of that race to, like... I think it was, like... I think it was Emerald 90%. The, what's the racing site? I've never used it. Race time uh, .gg. The other one. <laughs> Speedruns live. Speedruns. Speed all right. Probably should remember that. But like, there was a time that was like it wasn't an actual any percent time, but it was classed as the fastest time. It was like the only one. So I think the like the main purpose of the race was just to make it so that time wasn't first. And that was the main reason why they did that race, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember the exact reason. I think they were just trying to. I don't know. It's yeah. kind of funny because they're 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 talking about like if they did a race every so often, one person would get like a really fast glitch and and potentially get a really good time out of it. It's kind of just luck of the draw kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, in with Mystery Dungeon, uh, Red Blue Rescue Team, like a lot of like the second third like Shiguma with a eighty percent unrestricted JPN Wii U world record. And then, same for like a DS one with a uh, Neko. Like, oh, submit and verified. Probably just before this ran, and I missed it. My bad. <laughs> uh, some like couple of range of PBs. Cruel in sixth with a three oh eight thirty. Uh, Five kids zero in second with a three seventeen oh three. For the J uh, Japanese and English DS any percent categories, respectively. Uh, we have Slayer Lol ninety nine with the TP glitchless PB as well. Yeah, please change your SRC name, please. Flutter I keep Sparkle. not knowing who Flutter Sparkle is. <laughs> <laughs> like, so for like the six month That's one, I did that on funny. my own like channel, just like to do it. The amount of times I kept saying Flutter uh, Sparkle and then like 
people kept saying that's Slayer. I just kept forgetting. Yeah, just, Slayer, please change your change name. It. Please change the name. <laughs> It's also worth mentioning Crafted got second place earlier today in DP Glitch. You'll see missed record by like five seconds or something, I think. Oh. Sub Poke guy, yeah. Yeah, sub Poke wow. guy. Damn, bad play. Also, I'm sneaking in from last month in any percent. Um, that shouldn't <laughs> be there. <laughs> that was um, I covered think in I, last month. I think I set the hard date limit in the bot to be the day before. The podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. Because so I got it the day off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think just because of that. So I don't think it was actually in the last one. Uh, it, is that the same? I think that's the old world record. Or we the, oh, no. That's okay. All these categories for Mystery Dungeon confuse me. I don't know if this is the same one as like the run that we talked about earlier, but a different run. Or if it's just a straight up different category. <laughs> <laughs> but so all the records, Mozzarella Cheese 3309, 29. Oh, actually looking at that run date is apparently the sixth. Oh well, well no. Verify I don't know. I I just don't know. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh category extensions for platinum. Popping up before platinum. In that I think a lot of the I a lot of the I think all the games. All the new games that have category extensions will pop up before the actual main game. So, go with the world record in Softlock, the game. Yeah, a lot of these Manipus times, by the way, are from the weekly races that are happening. So join the DS Discord. There's, I think there's two Platinum Manipus races per week now. I think there's two. I thought there's a zero now. I don't know. They're change I thought it was the weeklies that they were canceling for gold to silver. But there, there's a lot of changes with the races. But they're keep. They're still gonna try and do the weekly platinum and min uh, platinum manipulus and hard gold to silver manipulus. So a lot of those are from those races. So yeah. join those if you have an interest in Gen Four. Yeah. Also, I think actually there the is that the first minute. I assume it's the first minute plus E four round. Two yes. Four. Yeah. I. I remember him. I don't think it was this run because I think he PB since then. But I, I remember there being a run where he made like a massive mistake and like, oh no, he encountered like an extra optional and it cost him like a world record. <laughs> so, funny, funny to me, funny to watch. Not for Etchy though. Not for Etchy, no, miserable for Etchy. <laughs> but I'm not Etchy, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah we've been through Crafted's. Uh... Yeah record and a lot of people also a lot of these are coming from manipulus a lot of people are converting from manipulus to manipped as well which is really really cool to see oh i also love how etchy's um manipulous e4 round two is still third just because no one plays the category yeah isn't that third out of three if I, oh, it's four. actually third out of four. Oh, four. okay my apologies i, th I think it's jock who had a time as well Unsure on that one, but yeah. Mystery Dungeon Sky, Shiguma, the, the game, I guess, from the looks of it, at least on, Jap on the Japanese side, it's Shiguma is, I guess, he's just taking over all these categories. Like, any percent, no one, wait, no, that one's on, that was on one we mentioned. Any percent, no one, the mail, the DS at 501, 33. Beat Dark Ride, uh, Dark Ride No Wonder Mill on Wii U in 80252. Uh, all special episodes. It's a miscellaneous category, but okay. Uh, Started saying also a 25358. Only one Rumble Room. That actually surprised me. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just from reading the other one, which is six months, but there was like a million. There's a million Rumble Runs. So seeing only one surprise like that surprises me. A heart gold? Or Tucker. Oh, it's Minnow. Is it a good run, Minnow? Uh no. <laughs> 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 I fell in ice path multiple times because I'm bad. That is fair. Uh perhaps with the emulator world record as well with the 23941. Uh how many runes are on those boards? Like uh, 90%. 
surely there's quite a few, or, or a, a, any person emulator. that emulator. Yeah. Not many, I don't think. Fair enough. Dog Park Wii, uh, third place for Brazy Boo, 2.22.11. Fourth for Kiwi Master, 2.72 with a 2.20.16. Boom with the any percent Japanese world record with a two fourteen thirty six. Oh, that's one of those that's uh, that snuck in, and that might be a double sneak in one. Cheater. Yeah. Pickable. <laughs> uh, all friends fourth with Brady Boo seven oh four nineteen. Ah, oh, Cinder. Cinder who was in the chat with seventh with a seven twenty eight oh two, and then Cruel with a seven fifty three eleven. Uh. Ranger Guardian signs first place for emulator. Lino with an 82057. Uh, uh, we have Cram with, with his. He actually improved this PB uh, a few days ago, but with his 31307, I believe, in black and white one. So he's been really pushing the game and pushing his times down further. So good on him. Cram's current PB is 312.49. I've just let it, it's a uh, waiting verification at the moment. That's why it didn't get um, put yeah. in. Sorry, Cram. Um, I'm slow, but you only submitted it two days ago. <laughs> yeah. Couple of Rumble, Bla uh, Rumble Blast World Records. Me Mage with a 3059 Chapter 1. Banana Bread with a 3333 Battle Local 7 in a row. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's another one that. Is that another one that snuck in? Yeah. Oh, I verified on the ninth. I wish I knew more about what specifically with the release ball roundup is like the cutoff date. I guess it's for verification. It must be. Mm -hmm. I think it is for submission slash verification. Because some people, sometimes people that edited their runs, they it would kind of like a resubmission <laughs> and it would come back. Because it would have to be like re-verified. Uh, more recently, so sometimes like a run from like a year previously would like randomly show up at some point. Yeah. Boom. Uh, lost place. I don't know why I click then. But there we go, we're back. Uh, Poker Park 2 Wonders Beyond Kiwi Master with a 27, oh, 27, 23706. Uh, Worcester with Baton Pass, yeah, like world record, 40728. Cool. That category is very, very fun. People should, like that. That PB was in a race with me, but and I had no idea what I was doing. But there's going to be a couple more races of Baton Pass. So if anyone watched one of the races, I highly recommend trying it. Just know where the items are that you have to pick up before you play, or else you're going to have to uh, run around like. Uh, for like heart skills in Humalau City, me and JT once uh, we spent like a minute running around trying to find a heart skill while Worcester tried to guide us with stream delay of where to go. <laughs> so just use just use the dowsing machine. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, learn item pickups and you'll have a lot of fun because that category is is really really good. It's a really cool run, yeah. We've talked about Minnow and his uh, challenge mode record. Oh, um, his challenge mode PB though. Pardon? What about your challenge mode? Um, uh, well, that, that the one that's there isn't actually my current PB. I've I've PB'd by six seconds since. Uh, right. <laughs> nice. Uh, which is the stupidest PB ever. I was at one point two minutes ahead, um, and then lost like two and a half minutes to Elisa. But that's just challenge mode. Um, but I just never submitted it. And then Prab's getting the emulator record. Rumble U, second place. What like a, a one thirty forty four by? I have no life. Feel that. that is a good username. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> XY category extensions before the for XY. I think I saw Headbug earlier. So, may as well, may as well mention Roserade, first place world records. I'm going to assume the only run, but like 
an X. Yeah. Uh, five up a getting. I didn't know they got a three forty five. That's great. Um, sort of been making his way through the the three DS games. So, is that quicker than Gar? That is quicker than Garf. Yes. Because that's fourth place, so it'd be Ringo, Lunoxy, and Wartab ahead of him. Yeah. So that's just barely sub Garf, it looks like. Congrats to, uh, congrats Does this mean me. Garf will return? <laughs> Please oh, come back, Garf. <laughs> Garf needs to return to get Urshifu. He needs to return <laughs> to get Urshifu. He promised. And then Ringo's uh -oh. world record. Yeah, Ringo's Japanese record, um, and then an Oras, Omega Ruby, truly getting the sub 306, and Headbob getting the sub 307. So, uh, Headbob had like a a much better run than this one that ended up losing a couple minutes near the end. I forget exactly what happened. It was like either an optional or something to that effect um, near the end of the run that sort of ruined things, and then. Uh, got a bit of a cleaner run afterwards so uh congrats on that 306 as as well any, like any person with edgy i think i might be wrong with this i think that was his first run back yeah um it might Time. be the first run back something like that i know it was all about doing alpha sapphire and then found out his cart was bad it kept crashing during the horde battle so <laughs> Um, I think it put a little bit of a damper on the progress there, but 312 is still a pretty solid time. Super Mystery Dungeon Shadow Phoenix DX with a world record. 617.20, any percent Wonder Male English MU. And then second for Shigumma with any percent no Wonder Male. Uh, Japanese New Enthusiast NTR with a 719.12. Someone's done some Moon Calgary Ascensions? Two people? Um, yeah, I think both of them were retimed as part of bed ah. timing. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what Goth mentioned. Okay. So they were readjusted or re verified, yeah. Alright. And then we've got two some Moon Runs uh, runs that were mentioned. The Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Calgary Ascension. Uh yeah, this is the the Rainbow Rocket sort of like a post game kind of speed run uh and this one it looks like it was actually done during this during this month so it didn't sneak in it's nice so let's go yeah let's go aspect with the sub 310 um pretty solid time and then like we said uh any percent pikachu for j ash and then jordan how was your pb um not good <laughs> no, I, I I haven't spent too much time with the game yet. I, I still haven't because I was spending a lot of time on Get Urshifu. Might spend a bit more time on this before maybe going on to Shield. Shield any percent. Don't oh. worry, Jordan, you're still doing better than me in Let's Go. <laughs> I have like a 339 or something. <laughs> That's better than me. I got time. a 347, but I've only done two runs, so... Alright, fair. Any percent. This is... A surprising amount. There's a lot more... There's a lot more than I thought there was for sold any percent. Um, yeah, and... There's also a run that's not on this. I don't know if it's been submitted yet, but oh, we yeah. also got a 408. Which, with the... The version, or patch... Differences with the you know bag delay and all that kind of stuff is a really really good time it's definitely the fastest time since the 1.2 update so um no real movement on splitting the leaderboards yet uh, there's been some rumblings in the the discord lately but yeah um if it if it did get split that would definitely be the fastest time by quite a few minutes <laughs> yeah because i think that i think jordan's time is the second place time there yeah i when I was when I was prepping for GDQ, I got like a four twelve, I want to say, in shield. But for sword, I think that four thirteen is the best one point two time. Yeah, 
then that means you've got the world record for shield any percent then but 1.2 yeah. plus by default yeah yeah so then try and have a look uh i think that particularly stands out i guess actually to be fair that uh oh no that's not even the up-to-date pb so never mind that uh <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh wait! Oh no! Different game. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, so yeah, I guess GL Phoenix with the four ten twenty seven, pretty solid time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Jones DX, Jiguma, eight percent winter male, uh, Japanese at two fifty nine. Wait, oh, okay. The run was done last like the month in February, but still two fifty nine point six. It was some mid later. Uh. Red, blue, yellow category extensions. I think these are still being in the middle of being split up into their individual games. At least Gen 1 through 3 is still together. But is I know a lot of these runs are going to be first, but is there anything that stands out as like a really good time? No, just Enderborn working through a bunch of these custom starters. Um, I like that Kingler is the fastest of those. Like, why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why is Kingler the fastest of those three? It probably gets Horn Drill or something. Oh, it gets. It probably gets Guillotine. That's probably what it is. Or, or oh yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Grab please. With the comment. And gold, gold, silver, crystal. Your extensions again. Is there anything in particular? I have no context for these. I know Beat Lance has been a contentious <laughs> topic in the <laughs> past. Um, yeah, there's yeah. a few manipulous times that are up there, but yeah. Yeah, three three nineteen is not a bad manipulous time at all. Uh, what's actually what is the manipulate world record? Like a three thirteen? Oh, I think. Been a while. Oh, that is very good. Our gold, soul, silver carry extensions. Wait, wait. I guess. I guess. I don't know. What happened to the emerald ones? I guess maybe they might not have just been any this time. Mm -hmm. I've had the heart, gold, silver ones are all the way down here. <laughs> <laughs> but we've already done like we've already done like X and Y is a category yeah, extension. Yeah, I, I know. It's... <laughs> It's just SRC, <laughs> and I forgot to edit it because I have to manually change the HTML file, <laughs> and, and I just forgot. But... Yeah, a lot of these products of races with Tucker taking record and Jimmy also working his time down. Also, Lime didn't even know that Lime PB uh, this month. Oh, that's because he didn't. That's from February. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, congrats from February, Lime. Um, I didn't know that you beat me. <laughs> uh, and like a couple of min like minutes, any percent. And the Kenya times that that's from a Kenya race. Um, I think there were actually three runners of that. I think one of them dropped out, but um, yeah, I I'm happy to see how people running with Kenya, because uh, it was a meme for a while and now people are actually going for it. And bug catching contest is... Just, I, I know nothing about bug catching contest other than Slayer talks about it for like 90% of the time whenever he talks about heart, gold, so silver. He's just always, oh, bug catching contest. But I don't actually know anything about it. <laughs> the fair, it's, best uh, part of the game. No, it's the worst <laughs> category extension. <laughs> <laughs> Rand Randall with the hot 408. In the magic bug catching contest. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, like after like a run. <laughs> Few optimizations and I'll get sub four. So close. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy getting the uh, silver print or silver print record for factory. <laughs> it's like fifteen minutes faster than I've ever gotten it. Jesus. I think the black and white category extensions are down here too. I oh, guess this is another soft lock run. 
I actually did not know. Actually, no, I did know about this because I verified it. That's just completely a lie. And I sat and watched this and I nearly forgot about it. Congrats, Circular. I totally didn't nearly forget. Yeah, what flex on one run? It does not exist on the boards now. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> um, yeah, so Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire category extensions, T Pat getting a sub five in 44 mega stones. Uh, hasn't quite gotten a, a full run of the 45 mega stones, but uh, this is a really solid time. For anyone who doesn't know, 44 mega stones is basically Elite Four round two with extra steps. Like you have to go grab a bunch of extra items. 45 mega stones is that plus two hours of doing contests. So, which is why 45 is the one that should be run all the time. Exactly. The contest Pikachu. Wait, is it contest? It's yeah. Yeah, it's good. Fun. Okay. Yeah, it's it the contest Pikachu, and then it's it's annoying because like every contest takes like 15 minutes to do, and if you mess up and want to leave a contest there is no option to leave you have to finish it and start a new one so like a mistake can cost you just like 15 minutes it's a dumb category but i love it but god say ditch bill i just with a 3401 second just shy of that 33 yeah so close got push for it uh I'm gonna do a bit. Of, I'm gonna just throw out the old mains without Eternia. Eternia's Drift Blim. Worst category I've ever routed. I hate it. <laughs> you spend like 20 or 30 minutes running around the wild area picking up items. God. To like sell on to get enough X items. But I made it so you could try it. Like you can run it with every Drift or Drift Blim that you get from the raid then. So, kind of like the. The trade off for that. A lot of a lot of trade off main world records. Uh like Josh with the Diggersby. But no, that was done a while ago. Ignore that. Uh Drampa with the uh like Drampa. Well, I was gonna say Drampa with the water tab then. Water tab with Drampa with a four eleven thirty seven. Uh May with a Mantine. Uh with a four twenty six thirty one. Um on the recipe there you Along go. with the recipe. Yeah, recipe to a free world record. Uh, trade on being more peco. Uh, Josh, oh, wait, no, again, February, never mind, ignore that. Uh, I think anything that really needs saying a aspects for the 16 in flex on mum. That's actually a very uh, good run. How many flex on are there now? Um, <laughs> so down to five. No, there was six because I accidentally verified Nox's like Nox's flex on mum time when it was not even in the same room as the mum. So I just put it into a new category for it called Flex on Mum Socially Distanced. That's now being removed. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah. Uh as like I've taken a couple of them. Aspects took a couple of mine back. But this is the this is the important one for Garth. How of two fists get Urshifu? It's my world record now, Garth. You gotta come back. Got to like to be fair, like it's so this like it was a very interesting run. Like it was a ridiculously good start. And then I, I found out you can survive getting quick draws, which is basically a it's, it's quick claw, but 30%. And I thought it always killed. But I just let it carry on. It turns out, nope, I actually had enough health to survive. So, it's a beatable run. I will say, Garth, if you do want to do it. But I think it's probably better on Swords than it is Shield now. Because you, I don't think you can survive if you get quick draws. So, at least it's more, it's easier to finish a run on Sword. And then I also got Don't Care Urshifu, but that's, that doesn't really need to be talked about. Being honest. <laughs> if you used to believe me, Garth. Oh, if you, if you want to suffer in, in S.H.I.E.L.D., be my guest. Uh, and so, Sacred, oh, 
Trading card game, Calgary extensions. They, 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 that means nothing to be those Calgary names. The Bullsaw and Friends, the Jaffa Man with a 5402, and then Squirtle and Friends, Frank C with a 10809. That one snuck in again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think. Any of these that need mentioning, Iron? From the fan games? Uh, well, the JT Lance, it was the same from his uh, full game run. So we do, we have the separate categories, but you just typically just put the same, submit the same run for that. There are a couple of web-based games added from that are PETA sort of oriented called uh, Black and Blue and Red, blue, White and Blue. They're pretty meme -y, but and they're very short, like two minutes long. So not much more to say about those. Well, Poker Clicker world record, <laughs> I guess. That is clickless. P Poke clickless, Clicker yeah. clickless. <laughs> Done on February twelfth. <laughs> Cheater, get it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renegade really Platinum was mentioned. Uh, Rumble Weekend Edition. Completely. What is Rumble a Weekend a Edition? Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course it's RDI. Who else would it be? Isn't there one of the, like, Rumble Runner that's, like... I think it's, like, Akiri? I remember reading their name a lot. With Rumble. I think so, yeah. Still, though. I'm pretty sure... I don't know. It, it, it's... It, most of the time, whenever it pops up, it's RDI, though. Yeah. Like, I assume that name with Rumble... And and with Battle Revolution, though definitely more Rumble. <laughs> and then, Falcon Tournament Arcade. Big Azrael with a lot of world records. And then, the final. Yeah, so these these oh. I believe are in a completely separate uh, community Discord than the ROM Hacks fan games. Um. Yeah, there's a specific yeah. Pokemon, like Pokemon. Like mobile and, and and very short games, I think, is what the cat what the the Discord or leaderboards called. I'm having quite a lot of discussions on how to kind of coordinate things between that fan games Discord and that Discord with uh, with Pika. Isn't so? I remember. I don't know if it is it if it's still the case or not. Wasn't there like one game? I think it was like. Oh, it's something like with Psychic Seeds, I feel like, was in the name. Yes. Like, that was on both of them. Remember that? It wasn't me an issue yes. when... I, like, I ran the leaderboard a while ago when I did... Because I added the mobile minigame series into that. Which is not being shown this time. Because there's a lot of them. A lot of games. And I think it would just take too long. Again. Yeah, I think the idea was that would yeah, was be be a lot of shorter, smaller games and short categories. Whereas we're kind of redefining the fan games group to be more like the the standard Pokemon Pokemon formula type game. So like battling, getting badges, like beating the Elite Four, that kind of thing, filling up the Pokedex. Whereas the other group would be more of the Games that don't they have they feature Pokemon, but they don't have uh, those mainline um, features that you see in like say red, yellow, gold, diamond, etc. And so that's yeah. that's still a work in progress. Yeah, and then round off, Pokemon Tournament DX Green League, just the number four with an eighteen forty four point zero seven. March twenty fifth, we're good. Alright, so that, uh, and that's, oh, no, well, there's a couple of last mentions, which, Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament, like, has started. There's, how many races have been done at this point? If there was uh, one today. There were two that have been done. One of them was today. Uh, JP uh, won his race today, and then there was a pretty epic race between Pickle and Kurt yesterday. Um, 
But yeah, there's still in round one, there's 12 races in total and there's still 10 left. So actually one of them, <laughs> one of them, two players dropped out. So Thunder got a buy to the uh, round two uh, because both his opponents uh, dropped out of the tournament. So there's nine. Congrats on the win. Yeah, be best way to qualify. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's go. I mean, I know you already talked about the weekly races, but if you want to talk about them again. Yeah, I, I mean, I, at this point, because because of all the uh, the time zone changing crap that's been happening recently, best advice because I can't really give a time anymore because it's it's swapping around a lot and it's being rescheduled to try and suit more people because of the changing time zones. Uh, just join the DS Discord or DS Discord, and then um, every so often, uh, l uh, links to uh, when to meets are put out. You can put your availability in. Everyone tries to pick a day that we can do races so that the most amount of people can get in on them. So if you see a race and you want to learn Gen 4 or 5, it's the best place to go. Yeah, apparently, according to Garth, there might be a Battle Factory race soon. Yeah, th there's talk How about... Does that work? Um, what is it, Minnow? How does that work? Cause... I think it's just like a, a block of people just doing Battle Factory attempts like in a call together oh okay that makes more uh, sense because i think i think it's like a block i i think um it's like worcester jt jimmy tucker a lot of the ones that normally do the weekly races um i think it's just a block of x amount of ours that everyone's just gonna sit and do open level factory attempts and just see if anyone can get the uh the gold print which will be really, really cool to see because it's always chaotic enough watching one person never mind doing, um, you know, having like six or seven people doing it. But yeah, I sure. guess if no one gets it, then the winner is whoever gets the furthest. Yeah, the idea is that you have like three hours to try and get the best streak in that game. Basically beat the record, but instead beat the record. I was about to say, it sounds like game. BTR. <laughs> beat the record, but just beat the game or beat the category. But Liam's uh, not there. Yeah, no Liam. Feels bad. <laughs> You'll join last minute. <laughs> Is there any other last mentions that we didn't put on? <laughs> I don't have any. Yeah, I've got I've got nothing really. The only thing is um just on the race front. I know that there's been talk of trying to organize some sort of races. I don't know if they're planning on being regular or anything like that um, in the 3DS Discord. So if you, if anyone is interested in that, definitely make sure uh, to head over to that Discord and check out that channel. I know JT Magic Man was trying to get some people involved, and then um, there's a bunch of ideas for races. So nothing, nothing has actually happened yet, but maybe in the near future. Sounds great. So, I guess at this point, like, and I think we're done. I think we are done. So, thank you, thank you, everyone who turned up. Thank you, Minnow and Gunlap. For Thanks for having me. Oh, oh, Gun is gone. So, <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's like an hour ago. Yeah, I figured when didn't say anything about Hundo Wundo. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, so thanks, thank you, Solo, for coming in. Uh, Erica, Skoa, Iron, thank you for turning up. Anytime. No problem. And you kind of made yeah, it. Yeah, next, next kind podcast of made... is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, the next podcast is the 1st of May. So mark your calendars, get excited. Oh. I don't have a calendar, though. Who has a calendar now? It's 2021. Come on. <laughs> on, the, on the computer, man. Google calendar. Who looks at the date? Just assume you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Educated guess. Right. So. I don't, know. I don't know how to end this, so just bye. Uh, <laughs> before I go this off, <laughs> as I slowly turn on the volume, and I will be your phone. So bye. I guess one last bye. Uh, you know, the music's at full volume anyway. Too late. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.